Hello and welcome to a new video in the actual function series. This time we will talk about uh, the makeAway function. Um, you will find um, the file in the video description if you want to take a look at it yourself. So, the makeAway function needs two arguments and a lambda, which will work with those arguments. So, you need a number of rows either hard-coded or based on another calculation and the number of columns also hard-coded or based on another calculation and then you have a lambda where you give you need to give the lambda both values the rows and the columns and then you can work with those rows or columns so how would that look for example um, for rows, for columns, lambda, r, and c. And then you can, this time we will only take out the row. So you see here, the make array function will make an array that is uh, as large as you um, inputted it. For example, also here, five uh, columns wide. And then you have here, one time, the rows and you can also end out the column number so here you have the row number here you have the column number and you can also um, end out both for example concatenated with a comma and with those values you can work with because you have for you have an array that is as large as you wish that has the dimensions you wish and you have an R value and row value and then column value and you can work with them in other calculations. I will show you how. So for example most of the times I use the make array function if I have to uh, draw something in Excel and uh, draw something uh, with an um, yeah with an underlying logic. For example here with this challenge from Excel BI you should uh, draw those as key stars, and therefore I've used the um, make array function. Or, for example, here I want to make an array with ten rows, ten columns, and only with even row numbers there should be as key stars. Otherwise, there should be nothing. Therefore, we um, write our make array uh, make array function lambda r and c and now in this lambda function we can put everything in we want for example if our row number is even so is even r then we want to have the ascii star otherwise we want to have nothing close all the brackets and you see here for every even row number, we get our ASCII stars, and also 10 by 10 an array. We could also expand this, for example, 15 rows, and we get here an array, 15 rows, 10 columns, and only in the even rows, there are ASCII stars. Also could do this differently or whatever you want. So you could draw with this. But, um, and the make array function can also have an, another more useful impact. For example, if you have here, uh, here we have a fixtures table of fixtures companies, and we want to calculate um, the sales where the company sold to itself or to an affiliate. So here, every um, I've highlighted it in green, everywhere where the where the where the, the uh, companies are crossing and there's the same company there should uh, be this summed up and you see here we have 10 companies in rows and 10 companies in columns and therefore for every everywhere where the row um, number is the same as the column number we should add this up and therefore we use the make array function if you don't know the rows, this times it's 10, but you can also use the rows function. 
and also the columns function to, to determine the number of rows and columns. Lambda, R and C. And now we use also the if function. If R equals to C, then we want to have a one here. Otherwise, we want to have a zero here. Close all the brackets. And you see here, we have everywhere a one where um, the company is the same. Now we multiply this with this array here. And you see only where the green uh, highlighting is, there is a number. And we can now add this up in a sum function, wrap this therein, and have the, the result here. It's the same as you would um, do this manually. So 570, you see here. And all everything done in a single formula. You could also do this in a different way. I know this. But if you want to have this very visually, so this is super visually, then the make array function can be quite handy. So I hope you've learned something, learned a new function, learned how to use make array. And you could do here this or uh, all, all of this uh, quite, uh, quite in an extent. For example, multiply this with or use this is even also see uh, the column number should be even that you only have uh, values there or so on or, and so on and so on. You could do this whatever you want. You know the lambda function here can be done as you wish. So thank you for your attention. I hope to see you in the next video of this function series. Bye.